Hey, what's up, Wicked? There's a water fountain in Greeley City Hall. It is, but the employees here say that they have to listen to the waterfall all day long and it gets annoying. There's old glory. There's the Easter Bunny. No. What's up, news now, Northwest? Anyway, if you guys want to check it out. I'm on my stand uh, using my um, my gimbal. Hey, what's up, Lindsay? Finbar? Let's go around the other side and get a shot of the top floor. Yeah, this thing takes really good panorama shots, so I'm going to get a nice panorama of the room. Well, that's the goal, right? They are conducting business, so we got to keep it quiet. Let's go upstairs, guys. How's the footage, guys? Is it nice and smooth? Thanks, Tay.
I do have a, a high intensity directional uh, mic coming for this. Should be here today in the mail. I just basically stopped the wind noise because there's two microphones on the Note 8, so. It's susceptible to wind noise. Here's Human Resources, Building 201. There's the stairway. Can I show you everything? Oh, excuse me. Here's the finance administration. This room is purchasing. Here's a conference room. Gimbal's working great, Stephen. Oh, I am at the Greeley City Hall. Just to show you again. It's a very good looking building. It's got a waterfall, but I've talked to a few of the employees like when I pay my water bill at the the water fountain just gets old after a while. Hello. I'm recording the building. Okay. All right. Yeah. Do you have, did you have permission? Yeah, I do. It's called the First Amendment of the Constitution. Okay. It's a public building owned by the public and it's a public area. Okay. I'm just showing the people in other towns what this looks like. It's a very good looking building. Okay. Just ask. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to get anybody's monitors or anything. She didn't want to be on camera. You know what that means, right? PD will be called. And this is human resources. No, I'm just filming. This is the finance administrator. Purchasing. Another conference room. Ooh, they've got an elevator. Let's take a ride in the elevator. Uh, we are, Denise Lynn, we are at the Greeley City Hall. Yes, Wicked is in Colorado. He's south of me. He's in mid-ish Colorado. I'm in northern Colorado. We're gonna go for a ride. First floor. Violations, well, civil rights violations, calling the PD. <laughs> Open sesame. Here's the directory. And if you guys can see in the reflection, the gimbal. It's uh, it's got my Note 8 attached to it. Here's the general information. And as you 
see. I can get right down on the floor with it. Let's go take a look at the outside of the building. Hang on a second, I gotta lift my, uh, my stand up. Check the flags. Uh, yep. There's Old Glory right there, flying high. And then you think they would have the flagpoles together, but the Colorado flag is over there at the other end of the parking lot. And then we have a, oh, daddy wants to ring the bell. Can I ring the bell? I don't know if I can legally get in there. What? I own the property, right? I want to ring the bell. I should edit that song into the into the video. <laughs> uh, all right, let me retract. Let's walk around. Now in the building it says 1,000, but the address comes up 1,100, 10th Street. Yeah, I apologize, it's super windy in Colorado. I do have a mic with a cushion on it to stop the wind. Um, that's arriving today in the mail, so future videos will have at least some buffering of the noise. Also, for my video, let me flip the camera around. If you look on my neck, I'll be posting the video from this, clips of it, camera glasses. Hang on one second. I need to power down the gimbal and spin it around because it screwed up on me. It, it kept doing a 360, let me turn it back on. All right, we're back on. I also have a cord plugged into this. Uh, the cord is plugged into the bottom of the gimbal via USB, and then I got a 90 degree uh, insert into my Note 8, which keeps the phone fully charged. Because the gimbal has a 26 660 milliamp battery. Uh, it's the Zion, Z-H-I-Y-U-N, Gimbal Smooth Q, uh, three axis. Here, I'll, I'll get a good picture of it in the window. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right, maybe this one will look better. Here it is in the window. I've got it set to pan left and right, but stay locked in the front and back. So it stays level, even though... I'm moving and I'm walking and I'm actually in the camera, I'm shaking. I'm gonna switch it to, if I tilt it forward, it'll pan down. So now when I lean the stick forward, it pans down. Y-U-N, Z-H-I, I'll try to block the win, Z-H-I, Y-U-N, it's $99 on Amazon. There is another store that's selling it for 85, but 
but you're going to want the the safety return of Amazon. You're going to want to pay for that extra. Now, guys, I just went to that building right there across the street, diagonal from here, and they have an, uh, an order signed Jan uh, June 1st, uh, 2012, I believe it is. It's in my pocket. And it states that photography is not allowed at all anywhere in the building. Well, that one, you guys know, conflicts with a few laws. Fordyce for Seattle. Um, whoever's texting me, I've got everything on mute this time. I remembered. And um, I know it is bullshit. It, it is bull crap, sorry. Lacey, I, I put, a, put a check mark on my thing. Because even cussing on a live stream is still breaking the rules. My wife and I have a challenge. Whoever can cuss the less, the least, one, because I need to stop cussing in my videos to make them friendly. Two, yes, I did go in. And two, um, whoever cusses the most has to read story time to the kids. Last night, daddy got to read story time because daddy had some potty mouth. But basically, also, what I was getting back to is they say that there's no photography allowed at all inside the courthouse. Well, that conflicts with Colorado Revised Statute 13-21-128 that says I can film all law enforcement wherever they're at and there's nothing they can do about it. So they sent me on a runaround. I asked some questions. Repeat after me. No, you almost got me. You almost got me, Odin. <laughs> I almost said it. Hey, Real Jinky, what's up, man? I am at 1100 10th Street, and I just went inside City Hall, and I got asked by a few people what I was doing. So I decided to walk around the building just in case. They decided to call Greeley PD. And Greeley PD, if you're watching, which you probably are. Remember, balls in your court. There's nothing you can do about it. It's completely legal activity protected by constitution and case law. Yep, you're welcome. But Joseph, who we're asked for clarification on the game. Well, we got somebody who doesn't want to get out of their vehicle. Did I catch what law cited? Hang on, let me scroll back up and read that. It's dark out, it's bright outside, guys. Uh, what law, Dave Justice? Which one? The first one? Um, AO-12 is the law in Colorado that they signed in the 19th Judicial District saying that you can't film inside the courthouse. The law I'm referring to, AO-12, the law I'm referring to that conflicts with that law in Colorado is House Bill 15-1290 or commonly referred to as CRS 13-21-128 that says I can film law enforcement wherever they are and LEOs are prohibited from interfering. If they do, they take away my camera, they delete my footage, it, I can request $500 per video. If they don't want to give my equipment back, they lose all qualified immunity and I can file a civil suit. It says it right there in the, in the rules, or in the CRS. That stands for Colorado Fly Statute. No, Dave Justice. The CRS is 13-21-128. Uh, 13-21-128. Thirteen dash twenty one dash one twenty eight. Twenty one in the middle. 
128. 13-21-128. There you go. That's it. CRS. Just Google it. Should I go do them next? <laughs> I'm actually swaying it left and left and right to make sure it's smooth, guys. Here is a uh, city of Greeley. Free act, free advertising. GTV8. So how can they have a law on the books prohibiting photography inside the courthouse when there's a law that says you can film law enforcement anywhere they're at? See, this is another reason how they violate your civil rights. So, if I had the money, I would fight that, but I'm broke as shit. Oh, I did it again, give me another mark, honey. I'm broke as all get out. So, I wouldn't know the first thing about filing an amicus brief to request. Well, no, even, I'll even read it when I get back to the house. I'll do a live stream and I'll read it for you guys. It even says you have to have a press pass. We all know that was ruled unconstitutional. <laughs> well, I think I've been here long enough, guys. If they did call the cops, they're not showing up because... Really, police department is a half a mile down the street. You know what? I'm going to get a couple shots of people coming in. Now this puts the gimbal literally just above my head. So I'll spin it around, you can see it sitting. Hi mom. I mean, sorry mom, you're dead. Sarah, the new camera is working great and once I get that, uh, the microphone with the furry stuff on it, it should stop a lot of the wind noise. I do apologize. It wasn't windy earlier, but the wind just picked up. Other than asking what I was doing, guys, I'm going to call that a pass. What do you think? Let's make sure we look left, look right, look left again, and then right just one more time. They don't say I tried to cross an alley illegally. The rest is going to be boring footage of me walking around a building to get to my vehicle so they lose sight of me. I'm parked about four blocks up the road. Zion Smooth Cube. And sorry, I can't see the chat right now. My glasses have tinted over because it's very bright. If you're curious about my elevation, Greeley, Colorado is at 4,685 feet. There's the uh, municipal court building, that cream colored building in between those two buildings right there on the other side of the liquor store. Right, guys. If anything 
happens. I will come back live. Hey, thanks for showing up. I'm gonna end this now. I'm gonna call Greeley City Hall a pass. I'm gonna call Greeley Courts fail, even though I didn't push it because they have a law signed or a, an order signed by a judge. So, thanks for showing up, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go live when I get home and I'm gonna read some of the statutes and stuff, all right?